what DVD of mine is best to start with. Obviously, I have a lot of DVD guides. Everyone starts a little differently. It depends on how much you know about finance. Um, if you know nothing whatsoever, then I highly encourage you to watch my penny stocking and penny stocking part two guides. Um, these are very, very basic. So if you do know something about trading and you know something about penny stocks, I wouldn't necessarily watch those, um, but they're good for beginners. They go over terminology, basic patterns, basic strategies and rules that I've learned over the years. Um, also, I would say if you want the most comprehensive uh, guide, it would be my 35 hour how to make millions guide. It all goes to charity. This is my most successful and best reviewed DVD guide. Um, it is in hard copy or streaming. You can do either one for how to make millions. Um, most of my new guides are just streaming, but how to make millions, we ship it literally all over the world and it is 35 hours. It was never uh, intended to be that long, but there's so much stuff for you know, stock market beginners and, and basic stock market terminology and penny stock basics and stock trading basics and day trading basics and short selling basics. Um, I had to include it all. It actually started out as like 16 hours, then it went to 20, 24. And by the time I just wanted to share everything that I thought was very useful for beginners um, in the financial markets, it became 35 hours. And that is a great deal. If you go to howtomakemillions.com, check that out. Uh, probably my best newest guide, which really has been working lately. You know, I think it's good to study the past. It's good to, to have a whole knowledge of stock market history, but I understand some people don't like that. Some people are like, I don't want to study a strategy that doesn't work anymore and maybe it worked four years ago. I think that's a mistake. I think you should study stock market history. It's like learning about, you know, like the Roman Empire, or the Egyptian Empire. Like if you're learning about past patterns, you are better prepared for future patterns. If you learn about past empires and you're you know, a political science major, like you're better prepared to understand governments and you know, dictators and, and empires. So I do encourage you to study the past, but I also understand human nature. I also understand laziness and you don't want to study the past. So if you want to study the present, my newest guide is called Penny Stocking Framework Part De, and it goes over a seven step framework uh, for trading penny stocks. And this is the framework that is working best right now. So you won't necessarily have as much history. I did try to include a few history lessons too. Uh, it's roughly 10 hours right now and I, I keep adding to these things too because I, I want to share lessons that I think are applicable. Um, but I feature specific penny stock patterns that are best right now. Penny stock indicators that are working right now. Um, and I think that's going to be very useful for the next year, two years, three years. I don't know how long they're going to last. Um, no pattern ever lasts forever. You're always going to have to adapt a little. But if you don't want to study the past, check out Penny Stocking Framework Part De. You can even see Penny Stocking Framework, the original one, uh, when I unveiled the seven step framework at one of my conferences a few years ago. It's pretty amazing how these penny stocks follow not exactly the same, but pretty damn close the same kinds of seven step patterns uh, from you know just starting out to you know their, their spikes getting a little more steep and then going full supernova. Supernova is a term that I came up with when a stock just explodes and it just blows out all proportion. I mean lately we've been having penny stocks that go from like two dollars to twenty dollars in one day. That's going full supernova. And then I also talk about how it can crash and there's a dip buying opportunity and then there's another short selling opportunity. So I want you to learn the ins and outs of penny stocks. I want you to learn when to buy them and when to short sell them. You can actually make money when penny stocks go down. Uh, some people don't even realize that. You don't even think that you can short sell penny stocks. You can. You just need to find borrows, which is not always a given. But I like buying penny stocks. I like short selling penny stocks. I like uh, trying to profit from the entire penny stock arc. And that's what these guides go over. So penny stocking framework part two, how to make millions, penny stocking and penny stocking part two uh, or part two are the, the four DVD guides that I think are best for you. Um, if you have any questions on the guides, email admin at timothysykes.com. My team will help you. We'll answer any kind of question, but be ready to study up because these guides, 
It's not just about watching them and like kind of like not paying attention. Like you need to learn these lessons. If you're truly gonna change your financial life, you're gonna have to watch them and take notes and meticulously think about everything. Think about the patterns and the rules and the lessons that are included. That way you can apply them in the stock market to get financial freedom. Hey, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there and also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge and become my next millionaire student.